if you notice the way I'm working, you can't stop on any point for too long. Because my, my interest in medium is its fragility and its vulnerability. Yes. I mean, the very first series of, of smoke drawings dealt with HIV positive people based in Grahamstown. And so you see, you, you've sort of got it's a ghost of an image there. <clears throat> and then just going back in with a really light brush and dusting away the areas that you want. I mean, I had a, a reference when I started the drawing, so I had an idea of proportions. But once I start drawing, I don't stick to my reference. I don't go back and, and look and say, oh, this doesn't look like this guy at all. Um, it's just so that I've got a, a starting point for proportions. And then, to a large extent, you're following the smoke. So as an accidental mark turns up, you follow it. Um, and then I work with a putty rubber on the tip of my finger, bringing things in. It's really just a light incredibly light um, process of addition and subtraction. The smoke drawings are a new development, re relatively new development. How did you come about? I mean, it's such a novel kind of medium that you know you've really pioneered virtually single-handedly for the, for the South African landscape. How did you come about? Um, um, the smoke drawings uh, came about really from that, well, the term necessity is a mother of invention. It's yes. the most effective. I'd been invited to make work that dealt with HIV and it was for a show in Berlin. And I was based down in, at Rhodes teaching. I was very removed from my sort of research centre. I was given a very short time period. Simultaneously, I was teaching um, an experimental drawing block with some students where they had to work with alternative materials. And a student came in with a candle and she was trying to grow, um, smoke a, a, a grid and I took the candle and said, no, don't do it like that, just draw freehand. And the student never really um, made the connection. But it's just one of those sparks, which mm. is one of the advantages of teaching. And tell me, when, when you do that, is the paper upright or is it upside horizontal? Down. You have to work upside down. So you kind the of hold the candle up. underneath it like this? Mm. What I do yeah. is I rig up systems with a rope on the ceiling. And, and have a suspended surface. Suspend it, or else I pop it up with the small ones, you pop up with one hand, because you need to mm. move that surface as well. For the density of the, the, density of the smoke. So you're mm. moving your candle on one hand and you're moving okay. your board on the other.